All right, YouTube, so we are back, of course, to talk about some Final Fantasy VII Remake. I want to talk about some upcoming gaming events where we could potentially see something for Final Fantasy VII Remake. And I know that sounds kind of crazy, but we do know that not that long ago, they wanted to show something. I, think, I believe it's Tetsuya Nomura, one of the devs, had something they wanted to show us, and they just kind of weren't allowed to. And it wasn't even like Nomura just wanted to talk about Part 2 or give us an update necessarily in Part 2. He had gameplay, right? It was Cloud Walker on environment. That was like... Huge at the time, right? Big open environment, open world potentially, stuff like that. Like, he wanted to show us a trailer, gameplay. I want to kind of preface this video with that information, remind everybody of that, because it's not just us randomly speculating, is Remake going to be at this game event, is it going to be at that game event? You know, back in May, several months ago at this point, Namor wanted to show us something. Here we are, four months later, a third of the year later, and maybe now Namor can. But before we hop into it, I want to give a couple of updates, one of them the real life update. Got approved for the house, signed the lease Friday. Anytime after that, I can move in, which is going to be probably Monday. We're already on kind of a weird upload schedule, but there could be some more delays because of that potentially. I don't know. With the yesterday's video, we talked about the Alan Wake remaster. Now, that video was supposed to be out the day before, but it got a little bit delayed, so it came out yesterday. But it turns out yesterday, we actually got the Alan Wake remaster confirmed by Remedy Entertainment themselves. Of course, that's my luck. Like I put out a video a day later than I wanted to, and the day I put it out where we talk about if this game gets confirmed, blah, 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 and it gets confirmed that day, that it's the same day I fucking upload the video. Anyways, as I mentioned in yesterday's video, if that remaster got confirmed, which of course it now has been, that adds credibility to Final Fantasy VII Remake getting a PC port. Now, it could maybe be an Epic Game Store exclusive. I don't know. We'll have to see. Anyways, on to the main portion of this video. So part of why I'm making this video today is because, of course, tomorrow, September 9th, is the PlayStation Showcase. And clearly, if we're going to talk about this event and what may be there, we have to do it today. Kind of the last chance. Um, now, we haven't seen anything for Final Fantasy 16 in almost a year in terms of a trailer. Now, obviously, we had the website go live sometime in October of last year. We've obviously had information here and there throughout the last year or so, but we haven't had a trailer in almost exactly a year. So, with that in mind, in both like Final Fantasy 16 and Remake currently being a PlayStation exclusive... I don't know how likely it is that we'd see Remake there tomorrow if we're going to see it at all this year, because it's pretty good odds we're going to see something for 16, I would I would think, at this point. I could be absolutely wrong there. They could blue ball us again, as they have for the past year almost. We kept hyping up events for 16, and nothing was ever shown. It's kind of weird. Kind of annoying. It's typical Square Enix. And I would also hope that if we do get something for Final Fantasy 16 tomorrow, that we get some sort of idea of like release date or window. A full-on release date would be nice. It could be delayed, of course, because that definitely happens a lot. But some idea, like, at least, like, if you're going to show a trailer at the end of it, throw up 2022 on the screen, so we have an idea of, okay, maybe it's releasing next year. In terms of remake, if we do end up, like, getting that gameplay at some point, I, I don't expect a release date or window. I don't think we even need one right now. We just kind of want to see something. Give us an idea of what we're expecting with Part 2. Cloud walk around big open world sort of environments. That's kind of all I want to see. I just want to see a little bit of gameplay. I don't even care about a release date or window. The more likely place, in my opinion, if we're going to see anything for Final Fantasy VII Remake, at least within this month or maybe even for the rest of this year, is Tokyo Game Show. That's a, an event they have a history of showing stuff out. We had a Tokyo Game Show trailer, of course, in 2019, but also they're going to be a part of Tokyo Game Show this year, and on October 1st, they're going to have a Square Enix Presents. This is going to be 50 minutes long. That's roughly about the same as the previous Square Enix Presents, the spring one and the summer one. So it's roughly about an hour-long showcase strictly for Square Enix to show off their upcoming games. So this is either them wanting to show off a bunch of different things or a lot of a few things or maybe a combination of both. Who knows? But 50 minutes is pretty long. But I do got to bring Final Fantasy 16 back into this conversation because maybe they don't want to show it tomorrow. Maybe, even though it's a you know PS5 exclusive or whatever, maybe they want to hold off and show that at TGS or Square Enix Presents or whatever. Maybe they hold off. So if we don't see Final Fantasy 16 tomorrow, then there's pretty good odds we could see it at you know October 1st Square Enix Presents and if it is at that event that kind of lowers the odds of us seeing anything for Remake, Remake Part 2 or whatever the case. It's not that they can't show both of those games at one event because they definitely can if they wanted to because they're not coming out near each other because like 16 is more than likely I would hope a lot of us are hoping coming out next year 2022 which would then put you know Remake Part 2 probably coming out sometime at the earliest at least 2023 so they could show off both of those games at one event but they're not really going to overlap in terms of release. I know a lot of people think that they can't really show off or don't want to show off like multiple big games at the same time or anywhere near each other so that like one game has the room to breathe. But the thing is, the remake project is a bit different than some of the previous releases because it's multiple games. We knew that back in 2015 when it got revealed that it was going to be multiple games. So once the first game came out, the sequels are already on the mind of players. It's not like a, some random game that came out that was cool, everybody liked, and they want a sequel for it. We already know a sequel's coming. So whether they show it off or not, we're sitting here hopeful and wanting to see it. 
So regardless of whatever other games they're working on, showing, revealing, releasing, a big part of their community and their player base is still thinking about the remake project and the next game within that series. And I think they know that, and I think that's why Nomura wanted to show something earlier this year. So we can remain hopeful. I'm not saying it's going to happen tomorrow. I'm not saying it's going to happen at Tokyo Game Show. But we know there's something out there that Nomura wanted to show us. And even Katase probably wanted to show us, too. But they have to go through that the rest of, like, maybe the higher-ups at Square Enix. They can't just do whatever they want all the time. So if they got the go-ahead from, like, the up higher-ups at Square Enix, maybe they can show us something. Well, remains to be seen. But of course, my dudes, that is the video. So I want to pass it off to you guys. Keep in mind that Nomura had something he wanted to show us. Gameplay of Cloud walking around some sort of huge kind of open world environment type of thing. With that in mind, do you think we're going to see anything this year? Whether that's Tokyo Game Show, whether that's PlayStation Showcase. I might have said experience throughout this video a few times. If I did, my bad. I definitely caught myself saying that and having to re-record, but I don't know if I missed anything throughout the video. Or if there's any other like upcoming gaming events in 2021, like after Tokyo Game Show that I'm just not aware of or thinking of, that maybe we could see something. I'll be honest, my dudes, whenever I've seen people talking about this recently on social media, you know, will we see anything for Remake Part 2, you know, coming up in these gaming events, I kind of brush it off a bit, kind of like we usually do, like, I don't know, man, it's probably kind of far away, we also have Final Fantasy 16 in the works, but, but when somebody reminded me of the Nomura thing from earlier this year, which I kind of had, I guess, forgotten about or something, I was like, man, it's kind of possible, the fact that that's out there, that's not the first time it's happened, I know for sure, because I've been covering Remake since 2015 on this channel, I know like 2017, 2018 or something like that, Nomura, there was some random gaming event that Nomura wanted to show something at and wasn't allowed to. So it, it definitely shut my guy down a couple times. For better or worse, Tetsuya Nomura is out there trying to give us stuff for Remake Part 1 and Part 2 over the years, man. Trailers, gameplay, whatever might be information. He's trying to give us stuff and he's being shut down by whoever at Square Enix. I think my dudes, that is the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you guys aren't even want to did more Final Fantasy VII Remake content. Turn all my notifications, follow me on Twitter, Dashing, YT, and my Discord. <sighs> Links to some works are in the description. End of the outro. Later, guys. Used to care what people thought, but now I care more. I and mean, nobody out here's got it figured out. So therefore, I've lost all hope of a happy ending. Depending on whether or not it's worth it. So insecure, no one's perfect. We spend it with no shame. We blow that. Like old train, we in here. Like low gain, or leave it. Like old bang.